I uh, had a really hard time today. Like I, I guess I really overdid it yesterday. I didn't feel like I was doing that much. I used my computer a little bit without a neck brace, and I was sat against uh, a sat upright, and my head was against the wall. And I felt comfortable. Like I frequently lean up against the wall and it felt the same. Like sometimes I sit down and lean up against the wall just to sit and it feels fine. Um, but I was looking at the my monitor on my computer and watching a TV show for a little bit. Probably like an hour over the course of a day. Maybe a little more, maybe an hour and a half. Off and on. And... Um, and uh, when I was using my computer for only like 15 minutes without a brace, but the, um, I guess the, that and then and um, watching the computer from my chair like just really strained my neck, and it's so tired. Like I couldn't go for a walk today. I could barely go to the bathroom. I could barely get out of bed without a hard collar. Like I just feel the muscles in my neck, and. They're so tired, like they're so, they're, they're sore. They're not like sore, like, like if I work out my bicep and it feels like it burns when I touch it because it's sore the next day, it didn't feel like that. It just feels like a little achy, but it feels weak. Um, so in the same way, like if you did a bunch of exercise and then you try to use that muscle again, you're like, oh, I can't lift anything because it's just weak. Um, that's how my whole neck feels. And it's like, Jesus Christ, like I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was doing much at all. I guess I can't, I can't go based on feel. I have to go based on like, what did I do yesterday? If I only used a computer for a minute yesterday and that was the most I've done in a long time, then, you know, I shouldn't be using it 15 minutes. I should be using it like two minutes, you know, at most. And not, not go based on feel. And then same for like sitting up against the wall and watching a show. If I haven't done that, if I've been doing that for like 10 minutes, I shouldn't be doing it for an hour, even if it feels fine. Because, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt till later, I guess. Um, and it's weird because like the big muscles you use, like on my neck, like if I were to, uh, just a second. This is a reminder. Remind Alexa, from... stop. Uh, I guess anyway. If I was to, um, like, bend over and then stand back, like, bend forward and stand back up, like, those mu big muscles on either side of my spine would really get used, so I'd pull my head up. But when I'm standing up straight or sat up straight, like, I feel those muscles, they're not being used at all. So it's, like, the muscles that are, like, the smaller muscles in and around my spine seem to be the ones that are used. And they, I guess they're really atrophied. Um, now, when I get up out of bed, I always I put my feet off to the side and then like I get up sideways. And so like this side goes up and like I sit up. Um, so like, this, like that. Uh, often, I don't have to get up that way. I just, I just do by habit. And, and that side of my neck is quite strong. Like if I lean to the left and just hold that position, cause like this is flexing and like holding. Like if I'm leaning, like if I'm stood up and I lean to the left, it's fine. I'm like, oh, I can just hold that position. And when I lean to the right, I'm like, oh, this is sketchy. I couldn't hold this for like 30 seconds. Just leaned over like that. Um, and same for like leaning forward. So, like, exercising that muscle group, like, seems to really impact my ability to, like, lean, lean in a direction. So I think I'm going to start um, doing the same thing, but, like, getting up from bed, like, backward, like, put my feet off and then just stand up from, like, a laying down on my chest position with my feet off 
Well, and then same for like, maybe I'll get off on the other side of the bed too to like lean, the, get up the other way and strengthen that side of my neck. Because uh, it really made a huge difference. Like lean, lean, like this side of my neck seems, feels really strong and does not get tired. Um, so if I could do that for the rest of my neck, that'd be amazing. And in the process of strengthening this side of my neck, uh, it never felt like sometimes it felt a little tired. Like if I'd gotten up a bunch that day, I'd like lay down, get up, lay down, get up, get a little tired. But um, I never strained it. I never felt like pain. It never felt like I overdid it. And I think because I'd get up and I'd be up for like half an hour, 20 minutes or something. And then I lay back down. And so it's like a big break between repetitions. And so it's hard for me to like overdo that. And, and it was a, it was like a one solid motion as opposed to just like, you know, if you're in front of a computer or something, you're just holding a position. You're not moving through a range of motion and building strength to a whole range of motion. So, um, like movement like that, like this strengthens your tendons and your muscles. Um, and it doesn't put much strain on the ligaments. But a holding a position uh, puts strain on ligaments um, and muscles too. I mean, it also puts strain on muscles. Um, and um, but it seems like for physical therapy, say moving in a range of motion is much better than holding a static position generally. Obviously, if all you can do comfortably is hold a static position, then you do it. Um, but even the ones where you're holding your head statically and you're resisting, you're not pushing and holding it for five minutes. You're just you're pushing it and resisting it and pushing it and resisting it and pushing it and resisting it. So you're not having a constant pressure on the muscle. And I think that's, that is not an effective way to build strength from a point of being weak. Um, like you might push and like hold for a few seconds. Whereas if I don't hold, my head just turns. But so I'm, I'm resisting the, you know, in a stat in a neutral position. So I'm not straining uh, anything but the muscle really. Um, and um, I guess I'd, I'd be straining the tendons a bit. Um, but that seems to be the safest way to exercise is those periodic ones. But and then next up. This is a Alexa, stop. Don't use your computer ever. Alexa, stop. Yeah, I was, I was mad at myself yesterday. So I said, don't, I'm, I'm probably not going to use my computer at all today. So, um, and uh, so, yeah, what was I saying? So, right, so statically pushing for a small periods of time, lightly, and then moving on to ranges of motion. Uh, and then th those are the better ways to do physical therapy stuff. So I need to really build up strength to where I'm very strong before I do st static stuff like sitting and like reading a book and like with like leaning over or like doing um, stuff on the stove where like on my head statically bent forward where I'm doing stuff with my arms or something. Because I have to like look down. Um, Stuff like that, I really need to build up strength in my neck before I do it looking at the computer. And uh, and uh, I don't think I'll ever try to use my cell phone. I think I'm just going to avoid that for the rest of my life because it's just not good. It's not good just to hold the thing like that close to your face and constantly have your neck trying to be rigid so that, you know, you can look at the small print on the screen and stuff like that. It's just not good for your neck to use a cell phone. No matter how strong you are, so at that point, I don't need it really. I mean, all I really need a phone for is like recording video like this, or which I'll have to look at the whole time. And um, and my my elbow is rested here, so it's like not using my muscle really. And then um, yeah, um. Uh, phone calls and Google Maps, and that's it, um, yeah, so that's what's going on with me, I'm just a wreck, I don't know how I'm going to get through the day and, like, get to the kitchen and, like, eat, 
I'm gonna try to grab as much food as I can and just like, I don't know, I'll probably throw some chicken on and just like let it cook for like, on low for like half an hour and go, you know, flip it over and then go, you know, so I don't have to really watch it. If I cook it on low, it's really hard to burn it or overdo it. So that's a safe way. When I say low, I mean like to not actual low, but like uh, the electric burner on a power or two. And then uh, on a skillet, and and then uh, yeah, just cook up like a pound of chicken or two, and then munch on that, leaning up against the wall, and maybe some carrots, or whatever. I tried using the hard color today, this morning, and immediately like my jaw popped uh, after I took the color off. So it's like the color really messes up my jaw. Now it's like squelching again and like I can it feels like I'm hearing the tearing of my connective tissue every time I open my mouth slightly wide so yeah um the candida also the candida overgrowth also started to come back when I ran out of radishes um because there was nothing else to eat and I had a few pieces of my grandmother's English muffins and that plus no radishes and my tongue started to turn white again but it had been a nice red pink color with no white at all on it for like a month and a half and then um i stopped eating radishes and then also was eating some carbs and sugary food meaning like butter and jelly on the on the um stuff the butter some heavy sugar but on the uh, muffins and I had a couple of those, so it was not good. Um, so we'll see. I'm just I'm back to just chicken and vegetables, pretty much, with occasional fruit, but mostly chicken and vegetables. There's low sugar and a little bit of fat, and when I eat like that, I just don't I don't have problems going to the bathroom. I don't have problems with my tongue. My joints feel a lot better, like a lot, lot better. Um, my connective tissue feels a lot better, and uh, yeah, so I think that's that's what I'm gonna do.